As lawyers, we are often asked to provide ILA. ILA meetings can be brief and the clients are often unfamiliar to you. However, those brief meetings can leave you open to a negligence claim. The standard of care for providing ILA is no less rigorous than at any other time that you're acting as counsel. Here are examples from our claim files. A lawyer was asked by a friend at another law firm to give ILA in relation to a loan that he was giving to a young associate and her husband. The lawyer provided ILA and witnessed the couple's signatures, assuming that everyone understood the deal. The associate's husband, however, later alleged that he did not. In another claim file, a wife signing a separation agreement thought she would be released as a co-guarantor on a mortgage. The agreement made no such provision. The lawyer received $125 for his ILA services on this file, and Liff eventually paid out about $100,000 to settle the negligence claim against the lawyer. When approaching an ILA meeting, keep in mind that your meeting may be the client's only opportunity to critically consider a transaction and the related risks. Prior to your ILA meeting, diligently review all materials and ensure documents are complete before you or the client signs. Always check the ID of the person to whom you are providing advice and comply with client ID and verification rules. If the client needs an interpreter, have a neutral third party present for that purpose, rather than relying on a related or involved party. During the meeting, take the time to gather information. Find out the client's age and level of experience, their motivation, the relationships of the parties, and the relative bargaining power. Find out enough about the client's financial situation to know the financial impact of the transaction. Ensure the client is exercising their own free will. And if your meeting is by video, review our video conferencing tips on our website. And when providing advice, ensure that your client understands not only the nature and effect of the document, but also their underlying rights and entitlements. Advise them about potential risks and how to mitigate those risks. And always protect yourself. How do you protect yourself? Document your advice. You are unlikely to have any independent recollection of a matter in which you met the client only once and likely long ago. The best practice would be to use an ILA checklist. This places you in a position to be able to confirm the questions asked and advice given. Consider using this checklist as part of your notes to the file. Doing so would help provide clear evidence of your ILA and will help us deal quickly and effectively with any claim that may arise.